The assault reportedly happened inside one of the bathrooms at Harrison High School. Our side, Denise Dillon is live in Cobb County. Denise, you've talked to parents who are quite understandably very concerned. Oh, very concerned, worried, shocked. This afternoon, school leaders sent parents a message that says, our administrative team and campus officer recently became aware of a heinous crime that was allegedly committed by one of our students. Well, that's really scary. That's disheartening. Tabitha and John Bird have two children who attend Harrison High School. They're concerned for all the students after learning police are investigating reports of a 15-year-old girl raped inside one of the girls' bathrooms by another student. That's terrible. That's very concerning. I have a 16-year-old daughter here, and uh, this is a safe zone. According to a warrant, the accused followed a juvenile female into the girls' bathroom at Harrison High School, then trapped her in a stall where the rape occurred. The warrant also states the female was telling him no and to stop multiple times. Court documents show the accused kept the girl in the bathroom for approximately 11 to 16 minutes before leaving. In all, there are three felony charges, sexual battery, child molestation, and rape. That's horrifying. Anthony is graduating this year, but he's worried because his little sister will soon be going to Harrison High. It's worrying, and especially as my sister is coming here next year. The Cobb County School District released a statement that reads in part, we are aware of a warrant issued for one of our students alleging a heinous crime and are cooperating fully with the Cobb County Police Department. It should be investigated, obviously, and if the person is guilty, she could get punished. The district spokesperson also said due to the ongoing investigation and laws regarding student privacy, they can't release any more details, but they're confident the campus is secure and safety of their students is their primary focus. Reporting live in Cobb County, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News. Very concerning for parents and students there. Denise, thanks.